Hello, I'm Pastor Greg, and welcome to the teaching ministry at Calvary Community Church. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, I'd ask that you would give me wisdom to give praise to you and educate and engage your people who are watching this video and who worship here at Calvary Community Church. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, we're doing a series right now on, on the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is from the Apostle Paul, Galatians chapter 5. But before we look at that, we need to remember that Jesus says in John 15, verse 16, you did not choose me. So he's saying, you did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. We, we, we look at the fruit of the Spirit that the Apostle Paul is for us in, in Galatians chapter 5, and we think, wow, it's something that grows, that we grow in our life. The reality, Jesus says, he chose us, and he will put his Spirit within us to bear that fruit. And it's one fruit. It's not like we pick and choose. Not like we can go, oh, we like strawberries, we like apples, we don't like bananas, we like this, we don't like that. No. The Apostle Paul lists nine fruit of the Spirit, which is one fruit, all encompassed into one. And he says, we looked at last week, love, joy, peace, agape love, unconditional love, joy, the joy of the Lord's my strength, whatever's going on, I can have that, that deep-seated joy. It's not an external happiness, but an internal joy. There's a peace, a calmness in the midst of the storm of life. There's a calmness, a peace, a shalom, a wholeness. Well, this week here at Calvary, we're going to look at the next three. We're going to look at patience, which in the Greek is long-suffering, which means it, it is referring to a person who, who has been harmed or wronged and has the ability to retaliate but does not retaliate. Think about Jesus on the cross. He could have retaliated. He's the King of kings and Lord of lords. He could have called 10,000 angels. There's a song like that. But he didn't. He was long-suffering. Think about your own life, my life. I can think of times, and even still times right now, that I need to take the long road. I need to realize it's a marathon within family, within friends, within church, within other people that I walk with. It's a marathon relationship. It's not a sprint. I'm called to be long-suffering. Yes, maybe have been wronged, but not retaliate. Fruit of the Spirit, patience. Fruit of the Spirit is kindness. I'm here in our, our Calvary Kids Preschool. Um, and because I, I think so many of these Fruit of the Spirit are, are things that, that we can learn when we're younger, though, though it takes the Holy Spirit to grow this in our lives. But kindness, kindness. The, the Greek is simply to have a gracious attitude, being helpful and beneficial. I mean, do you have a kind attitude? Do I have a kind attitude? Are we kind and nice? Do we smile? Do, do we speak nice words to each other? Or are we grumpy Christians? No, we're not going we're, we're to attract anybody if we're a bunch of grumpy Christians. But are we kind with one another? Are we kind with people who aren't part of our family, who aren't part of our body of Christ? Do we have a graciousness? Because the reality is we're called to follow Christ. Psalm 25 says, Lord, do not remember my sins of my youth according to your loving kindness. Kindness. And this is also patience, loving, long-tempered, loving kindness. And your goodness, O oh Lord, goodness. All three of these are right here in Psalm 25, verse 7. The patience, kindness, and then the goodness. The Apostle Paul lists goodness as part of the fruit of the Spirit. Goodness. Goodness is the, the active action that we take out of our kindness, but the goodness is that action that we take. It's to have that high moral standard, have a, a spiritual character. It's to be good in nature and effectiveness. It's to be good with each other. God is good. All the time, all the time, God is good. We are called to, if you've asked Christ into your life, walk in Christ's footsteps and to be good with each other. Have that attitude of goodness which benefits them. We want to lift others up. Love your neighbors as you love yourself. Have a goodness in their life. So friends, fruit of the Spirit, we've looked at so far. Love, joy, peace, patience kindness, goodness. We don't pick and choose. We're called to have all of them within our life. I encourage you, read Galatians chapter 5 and look at your life and examine and see where Christ is calling you to grow in your walk with him. 
May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day.